Welcome to First Presbyterian Church in Pascagoula. My name is Jan Hardy, and I'm the organist here. I became a pianist at the ripe old age of six. My parents were both singers. My dad played the violin and the guitar. And my mother had this epiphany that I, her daughter is going to play the piano. Well, I was not crazy about it, but my mother was a very staunch lady. She was a stoic British subject. She was a war bride. And she decided, oh, yes, you are, and you're going to enjoy it. So I started lessons at age six and actually played for my first funeral at the age of nine. That was a small Baptist church, I'm sorry, it was a Methodist church in South Mississippi, and they must have been terribly desperate to ask a child who had never been to a funeral to play. And they said, all you have to do is play God be with you till we meet again. And I did all 137 verses. And that's what they sang and, and played while they were viewing the, the remains for the last time. Then I got to the grown-up age of 11. And one, one of the ladies that used to babysit me, I thought she was a lady because she was a lot older than I was, got married and she asked me to play for her wedding. Oh my, again, I had not been to a funeral, I had not been to a wedding, but play I did. So then I moved here in 1987 with my husband Bill, and Bill was a Presbyterian, and we joined the church in 1989. And I became an alto in the choir and thoroughly enjoyed it. Then we started losing organist. And Harvey McClure was like my mother. He said, Jan's going to play the organ. But then they found someone. I said, thank you, Lord. That was good. But then that didn't work out. The third time Harvey said, Jan, you need to play the organ. I said, okay. God has told me you better do it this time. I remembered when I was a child in Bible school and we would sing a song, you have a talent, use it for the Lord. If you do not use it, you will surely lose it. And I was petrified at losing a talent that I learned to love and to be associated with. I became the organist on September the 1st, 1996. So if you do the math, this is my 25th year. And I'm proud to say and honored to be the, pres the organist at the First Press. They are my family. They are my support, and I love them dearly. Let me read a verse of, of uh, Psalms to you. This is Psalms 150. Praise ye the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in the firmament of his power. Praise him for his mighty acts, and praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise him with a psaltery and harp. Praise him with the timbrel and dance. Praise him with stringed instruments and organs. Praise him upon the loud cymbals. Praise him upon the high sounding cymbals. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. If you will remember things that come to you, if you have memories from your childhood, teen years, college years, early married life, you have songs that trigger memories. And I had a song in my heart. When I lost my husband, I was terrified, not knowing what to do. But the Lord placed a song on my heart, It Is Well With My Soul. And that became my prayer, that God, please keep it well with my soul. I know you have songs that, that again, trigger memories and things that make you feel good, make you feel sad, but music is the international bond that we all feel. And I, I urge you to let there be a song in your heart and a praise on your lips. Thank you. Let me introduce you to our organ. This is a Wix 11 rank organ, two keyboards. This is the swell. The one on the bottom is the great. And we also have pedals. 
that are situated and formed just like the keys on a, a regular keyboard. And we can do different ranks and stops to a flute, to a principal four foot pipe and an eight foot pipe. Then we can go to the great, I'm sorry, the swell, flute, flute, principal. And then we have the big boys, the pedal. That's how we get sounds. These are different instruments and they tell the pipes how much to open and close and the, even the size of the, the uh, pipes. You see the pipes in the chancel, they are really tuned by putting them up and down. So that's why we discourage anybody from trying to mess with the pipes. They're, they're lovely to look at, but not nice to touch. So we can do this. We have stops for soft music, offertories, prayer time. We have soft music for preludes. And then we have anthem music. And of course our hymns, and we want those lively. We want to praise the Lord, not just sing songs and words to Him. And then we have the postlude, which is when everyone is ready to go. And that needs to be an encouragement to encourage them that they're going out into the mission field and what we do in here matters, but not as much as what we do outside. So now I'd like to play a song for you that really inspires me. The song I'm gonna play for you is in celebration of the solid rock. And that's what we all need and that's what we all need to stand on rather than the sinking sand. <laughs> Thank you. 